Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. Uh, let's get things into gear. Forex. We are here to learn about Forex. You've heard about it. You've read about it. You've seen or also heard stories about it. Well, Forex is short for foreign exchange. It's short for foreign exchange and it's done online it's traded sorry there's a term for it it's traded online okay before we get into things let's start with uh, the basic the basic definition of a uh, what trading is trading is uh, simply the buying and selling of goods or the exchanging of one good for another you might have not noticed but then you trade on a daily basis let's say uh, you buy bread let's say you buy bread okay, I'll try drawing this as a loaf of bread Let's say you buy bread at the two dollars. Okay, let me fix this. Bread at two dollars. What you're doing is you're actually trading in two dollars for bread. You're trading two dollars for bread. So this will be what we call a pair. This will be what we call a pair. So it will be bread against two dollars. We have a product. This will give rise to what? Please follow me. It's very important to, to follow me. If you are busy, uh, then uh, you can replay the video when you are, you are free. I need you to be with me on this one. Don't want to lose anyone. Like th This information is a crucial part of your trading career online trading career if I may say. So the, these beginner lessons are what you have to grasp in order to understand the concepts which will follow. So I hope so far we're still together. It's a product against price. So you might have noticed that uh, in this case they have given you a price for your product which some in some way Acts as a quotation. I hope we know what a quotation is. They give you a quotation for your product. They quote your product. So this means that we'll have something called a base and a quote. It's just like the bread and the and the two dollars. They are giving you a price for the base. A quote. A quote is a price for the base. It's base price. It's the price they are willing to give you for the for the base. A quote. So in a, in a pair we'll have a base and we will also have a quote. I hope we, we are together. We have a base and a quote. A quote tells you the price of the base. A quote is base price. So I will be repeating uh, some things so that uh, we get clarity. A quote is the price for a base, just like a quotation. When you ask uh, for the price of clothes, uh, car, property they give you a quote you go there then they give you a quote they tell you okay this house is for sale 
at this price so let's say you're going to buy a house let's say you're going to buy a house let's say this is your house you're going to buy a house they will give you a price the moment they give you a price uh, we add a slash there let's just see they'll see this house as a million it's one million dollars so they have actually quoted the house is a base and this price is a quote for your house meaning it's coaching the base okay then we're done with that and let's go back to forex remember trading is a uh, trading is the buying and selling of things you buy or you sell so you buy or you sell that in simple terms buy or you sell you exchange and uh, note one thing when trading when you buy something you automatically sell the other thing let's go back to our bread two dollar bread this is all hypothetical so don't uh, say how can bread be two dollars so uh, when you buy this bread you're actually selling when you buy this bread you are actually selling two dollars to your store owner or your cashier or shopkeeper let's just use shopkeeper so when you buy this bread, you are selling this automatically, whether you like it or not, it's a fact. When you are buying the base, then you are selling the code. It's trading. So uh, let's say right now the tables have turned. You are now the shopkeeper what you will be happening from your side is that you will be selling the bread to your customer and buying their money i hope we, we, it makes sense so far you will be selling the bread to your customer you're selling the base that means you're automatically buying the code. Remember, when you sell uh, one, you automatically buy the other. When you buy one, you automatically sell the other. So, this is trading. This was general trading. We have online trading. Trading, we have online trading. That was physical trading. Now we have online trading have uh, CFDs, equities, options, commodities, uh, indices. There are lots of things which can be traded online. People trade gold. People trade oil. People trade coffee. People trade stocks. Uh, there, there, are, there are many things. There are many things. Then there's what we deal with. Forex. Forex. These things are all different. They they can be traded in the same way because it's all online. We have forex. This is what we will, we will be sticking to. Forex. In the meantime, we won't be dealing with uh, the others. We will be dealing with forex. We will be dealing with forex. So I hope you got uh, that concept of trading. Uh, in everyday life so in forex we trade currency pairs we trade currency pairs trade currency pairs uh, let's go uh, to the term currency currency is the form of uh, 
money used in a specific country or region because there are some regions like uh, in the European Union it's different countries using the same currency so a currency as I said will be the form of money used in uh, will be the form of money used in a particular country or region so forex is actually currency trading we stick to currencies we don't uh, uh, add commodities or indices or whatsoever which can be traded uh, online note that there are many instruments that can be traded online but then we stick to forex focus our focus is on forex our focus is mainly on forex so forex foreign exchange it's currency trading we exchange currencies we trade currencies it means that you buy and sell i want you to see the link between online trading and physical trading it means you buy and sell so we have different currencies but then i'll highlight uh, the ones which are usually traded we have uh, the first one being the US dollar it's a currency used in the United States we have uh, CAD or CAD it's the Canadian dollar it's used in Canada we have the euro it's uh, used in the European Union it's used by countries in the European Union uh, Germany, France, you can search about the currencies in the, in the countries, sorry, the countries in the European Union. Uh, we have uh, the Great British Pound, GBP. That's used by the United Kingdom, the UK. We also have the CHF, CHF, the Swiss franc. We have AUD, it's the Australian dollar, it's used in Australia. We have NZD, it's the New Zealand dollar, it's used in New Zealand. Oh, and also a JPY. We must forgot the JPY, that's the Japanese yen. It's used in Japan. So all these are currencies usd cad euro jpy gp uh chef aud and zd they are all currencies so we are trading right we are trading meaning we are exchanging currencies it's foreign exchange we deal with exchanging of currencies we deal with exchanging of currencies buying and selling of currencies this will mean like a the bread scenario will have a pair and remember that a pair consists of a base and a coat so in this case we will have what we call a currency pair pair means two so currency pair means two currencies uh, pegged against each other so uh, remember that uh, for a currency, a currency resembles uh, a country or regions, yeah, economic, I can say, yeah, yeah, it shows uh, its economic state. It resembles its economy because currency is finance, economy is finance, so they go hand in glove. <coughs> so, USD will sort of show the economy for the United States, CAD for Canada, Euro for the European Union, JPY for Japan, GBP for United Kingdom, CHF for the Swiss, AUD for Australia, and ZD for New Zealand. So uh, I hope we're still together. Back to forex, we saw it. Uh, we saw the currencies. 
now back to forex this means we will have what we call a currency pair as i mentioned before so uh, the currency pairs let's just pick a famous example we will have the euro against the usd this is just like uh this is just like the bread and money situation this will be your base currency this will be your code currency it simply shows the price of this one the code shows the price of base it shows how much USD you will get for per euro shows how much USD you will get per euro so let's go back to euro USD remember uh, we deal with price we deal with price right now because uh, everything has to have a price we deal with price so this currency pair since it has a base and a code it means when you sell when you sell one you will be automatically buying the other when you buy one you automatically sell the other when you buy this one you automatically sell this one and when you sell this one you automatically buy this one so uh, there will be many factors which will lead you to either buying one or selling the other or selling one and buying the other there are fundamental factors and also technical factors fundamentals are usually news releases or news events of uh, that particular currencies country or a region which will affect its stability or which will affect its strength or weakness those are fundamentals then technicals is simply how traders because we have a market uh, simply how traders are trading that currency based on uh, various strategies or tools which they use to trade that currency i hope we are still together so what will happen now is that uh, this base controls i need you to follow me this base controls the whole movement of the currency pin i will repeat this the base the base controls the whole movement of this currency pin we are still going to go uh, to a demo account so we can get now i just want you to get uh, uh, the textbook concept of how these things come about so that you can understand when you are finally on the meta trader platform i was saying the base controls the whole movement meaning that a weak base weak base will lead when a base is weak when a base is weak this means it will go down we sell for a weak base we sell this means that the entire currency pair will go down and uh, the base might be weak on its own or it might be weakened by the fact that uh, the code is strong might find that the code at that uh, particular moment in time is strong which automatically weakens the base or the base 
might just be weak, even though the code is also weak. The base might be weaker than the code. So what will happen with the weak base is that the entire currency pair, the entire currency pair will go down. As if you can remember, I said the base influences the whole currency pair. What happens to the base uh, will happen to the whole currency pair. What happens to the base will uh, happen to the entire currency pair. So a weak base will lead to the currency pair falling. A strong base will have the opposite effect. A strong base will lead to the entire currency pair rising. It might also be uh, because of a weak code or it's just simply the base uh, uh, strong. You will get this as time goes on because the base can be strong on its own. If it has fundamentals on news releases, it can just be strong. Although uh, the code is also strong, the base happen to be stronger than the code. Therefore, it will rise. It will go up. So, uh, we have price. This brings us to price. This brings us to price. We have price. This whole thing, since we're speaking about a code, that means there'll be price. There'll be a price for this entire currency pair. You might find out that uh, the price is 1.0649. And you might ask yourself, why are there uh, five digits after the decimal place, the decimal point? That's uh, what we will be doing next. There's uh, the price. Then we'll also be dealing with the bid and ask. Because when you go go on to your broker, you might find that that's 1064. You might find that there are two prices for uh, <coughs> a single currency pair. So this is what we will be dealing with in the next video. Uh, you can post your questions where you don't understand and uh, the things that you might think I have missed, but then they have to be related to the topic we were dealing with uh, in this video. You will ask questions based on uh, things which are relevant to the topic. Even though they were not on the video, maybe you, you found it somewhere, then you need clarity. You, you are welcome to ask, but let it be relevant. Thank you.